The Sikorsky S-64 Skycrane is an American twin-engine heavy-lift helicopter. It is the civil version of the United States Army's CH-54 Tarhi. It is currently produced as the S-64 Aircrane by Ericsson Inc. Ericsson Inc. as an American aerospace manufacturing and aviation service provider based in Portland, Oregon, United States. Ericsson Inc. operates globally and has a fleet of 69 rotary wing and fixed wing aircraft including 20 S-64s. The company was known as Ericsson Aircrane Inc. until 2014. In 1969, Jack Erickson leased a Sikorsky S-61 helicopter from West Lamata of Columbia Helicopters to test the effectiveness of helicopters for logging. In 1973, Erickson began using air cranes to replace HVAC units on top of high rises. In 1992, Erickson Air Crane purchased the type certification and manufacturing rights for the S-64 from Sikorsky. In 2007, Erickson was sold to ZM Private Equity Fund, who in 2009 moved the company's headquarters to Portland. The name of the company was changed to Ericsson Inc. in February 2014. The following year the company reorganized into three business units, Commercial Aviation Services, Government Aviation Services, and Manufacturing and MRO. The Sikorsky S-64 was designed as an enlarged version of the prototype flying crane helicopter, the Sikorsky S-60. The S-64 had a six-blade main rotor and was powered by two 4,050-shaft horsepower Pratt & Whitney JFTD-12A turboshaft engines. The prototype S-64 first flew on 9 May 1962 and was followed by two further examples for evaluation by the German armed forces. The Germans did not place an order, but the United States Army placed an initial order for six S-64A helicopters. Seven S-64E variants were built by Sikorsky for the civil market. Originally a Sikorsky aircraft product, the type certificate and manufacturing rights were purchased from them by Ericsson Aircrane in 1992, since that time, Ericsson Aircrane has become the manufacturer and world's largest operator of S-64 aircranes and has made over 1,350 changes to the airframe, instrumentation, and payload capabilities of the helicopter. The aircrane can be fitted with a 2,650 US GAL fixed retardant tank to assist in the control of bushfires, and it has proven itself admirably in this role. The helicopter is capable of refilling its entire tank of water in 45 seconds from a water slide 18 in thick. S-64 aircranes have been sold to the Italian and Korean Forest Services for fire suppression and emergency response. Those in the Ericsson Air Crane fleet are leased worldwide to organizations, companies, and federal government agencies for either short-term or longer-term use in fire suppression, civil protection, heavy lift construction, and timber harvesting. Ericsson is manufacturing new S-64S, as well as remanufacturing existing CH-54s. Ericsson gives each of its S-64s an individual name, the best known being, Elvis, used in fighting fires in Australia alongside, The Incredible Hulk, and, Isabel, other operators, such as Siller Brothers, have followed with their Sikorsky S-64E, Andy's Pride. The Ericsson S-64E nicknamed, Olga, was used to lift the top section of the CN Tower into place in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Edit, S-64 twin-engined heavy-lift helicopter, 3 built.1 rebuilt as S-64E. S-64A-6 test and evaluation helicopters for the U.S. Army, S-64B civil version of CH-54A, 7 built, S-64E upgraded CH-54A helicopters, plus one new build aircraft, 17 aircraft in total, S-64F upgraded CH-54B helicopters, powered by two Pratt & Whitney JFTD 12-5A engines, 13 aircraft in total, S-64F Plus proposed upgraded version with new engines, avionics, and optional piloting. While operating for the USFS the Ericsson S-64 snagged a dip tank in the helicopter rolled over and crashed. N-198AC, Shirley Jean, S-64F, sold to European Air Crane C.2006 as I seed, crashed in Italy on 26 April 2007. N-248AC, Aurora, S-64E, named after Aurora State Airport, home to Columbia Helicopters, former owner of aircraft, crashed on 26 August 2004 in Corsica, killing its Canadian pilot and French co-pilot. The aircrane was chartered by the Interior Ministry to fight fires on the French Mediterranean island of Corsica. It had been fighting a wildfire as it went down near the village of Ventisiri, trying to return to a nearby military base, due to technical problems associated with in-flight breakup. N-173AC, Christine, S-64E, 
ditched into a small dam within Melbourne's water catchment with no casualties during a firefighting operation in Gippsland, Victoria, Australia on 28 January 2019. The crew, consisting of two pilots and the flight engineer, were able to bail from the aircraft in 2 to 3 meters of water and swim to safety with no life-threatening injuries. The aircraft was rebuilt at Ericsson's Central Point, Oregon facility and flew again in early 2021.